We've got uh, some Friday fail stories lined up and ready to go for you. Also, DUIQ for you this hour. It's our dumbass contest. Your chance to win some stuff. That'll be uh, that'll be coming up here on the Woody Show. And somewhere along the line, it went from being a great idea to one big stinking mega uber ultra. I, that Greg, was a rough. I, Greg had a false start. Yeah. Horrible start. Wow. Over the line. Market zero. Yeah. Market zero. Oh, my yeah. God. F minus. That was pretty bad. Which is a reference Ooh. that Greg doesn't get because he's not never watched Big Lebowski big yet. Lebowski. I've never. I have yet to see it. Market zero. Over wow. The line. Well, it, I've heard us play that. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Which is, he's never seen that, but he'll watch a crappy movie this five is, times in one five day. Five times in a row. Well, I don't know why you said crappy. This is bowling. There are rules. <laughs> Not rules. Wow. Okay. Phone's ringing, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, Friday fail stories. F around and find out. I think Ooh. you guys might have been talking about this guy, uh, YouTube pranker. Oh, just yeah. pranking. Just yeah, pranking. Yeah, broke it all down. Yeah. Yeah, the, the random guy at the mall in Virginia. Mm hmm. And the guy shot him. I still love that story. I don't. I didn't hear you guys talking about it, but uh, man, we broke it down extensively. Yeah, if he plugged his channel, I did. Yeah, I know. You did? She, yeah. Yes. What a bitch. Oh, come on. What right. an well, idiot. Yeah. Well, you know, you gotta go subscribe. Yeah. Like, I guess <laughs> so his thing funny. is like he uh, he does stuff on his channel. Like he goes around, he asks chicks to play Naked Twister, and he pretends to puke on Uber drivers. So pretty cool stuff. We yeah. Oh, we played yeah. one of the really good ones where he puts a camera in your face and just takes your picture. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if it was the same guy, but it was pretty crappy. Like these, like a prankster like this, they took some AirPods out of a Target and yeah. they gave it to some old people. Said, "Here, you won this," and then the old people like walked out with. Them oh, that's that's, that's cool. Sensor. Yeah, that's a, that's a different guy, but yeah, same level of pranking. Well, the yeah, guy he was pranking didn't find it funny. Shot him in the stomach. Ow! Oh no! That absurd. He lived, right? Stomach yes. and liver. He yeah. did live. And he guy, may, but he may still be charged, which is good. Right. Well, the guy who shot him was arrested. I he think. was charged, and they're considering harassment yeah. charges. So much fail. Love that story, though. I say not guilty. Vows to prank again, though. Oh, good. Vows. <laughs> that's, that's great. I will prank again. His next again. one is, oh, you're, why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> uh, this, is, uh, this is one that uh, CBS found. This guy in Florida was seen on surveillance footage. He was going into a Target. He grabbed a box that had a $540 electric razor scooter in there. Oh, nice. Puts it in this cart, rolls it right out of the store without paying for it. So they called the cops, and when they got there, dude was still on property. He, in fact, he was right on the sidewalk, right outside the Target, assembling the scooter. <laughs> and when okay. he was asked why he stole it, he told him because... He needed it to get around. Oh, right. I need oh, this. Duh. Oh, he well, let's go. Uh, this dumbass question. He was arrested and taken to fail, Joe. <laughs> Idiot. If only he had another 25 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here's one from Washington, D.C., where the D.C. stands for what menace, Sammy? Uh, Dominican Republic. Now, what is it really? You, you learned, right? Oh, uh, sorry. Um, District of Columbia. There you Crap. go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Sammy was still. Sammy was like, uh, <laughs> Dominican something. Yeah, uh, Dominican Republic. I, I yeah. was about to say it. He's, that sounded right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's where these two firefighters, they were on their way to an emergency medical call. Okay. And they thought this would be a great time to stop and pick up some Chick fil A. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. And when this all came to light, they tried to argue that they had already placed their order before they got the emergency call. They just stopped by real quick to pick it up. Like that was yeah. going to matter. Yeah, guys. It's not like we went there and ordered. It was already ordered. We ordered. <laughs> They're going to an emergency medical call. This is your job. According to the report, they said, quote, literally a few minutes tops. Yeah. Oh. They're it. suspended until further notice. The department is uh, <laughs> conducting a full internal investigation. 
No word on uh, the person who was waiting for their help, but uh, dumbass. Fail. I mean, they already prepaid on the app and everything. and Doesn't you know? matter. If I'm having a heart attack or whatever's going on, you're bleeding on the road after right? a car accident. Yeah. I don't want the people stopping for Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Get me to where I need to go. Yeah. Then eat. Uh, the super cool guy in Michigan, he was doing donuts in the middle of an intersection. Sweet. And while all the ladies were fighting over who was going to get to have sex with them first. Yeah. Uh, these two other cars that were drag racing crashed into him. Oh. So you, got, you got one doucher doing donuts. Here come these other two idiots racing. drag racing. They crash into him. No seatbelt. So he was ejected from the car. Is in critical condition. Uh-oh. And it turns out that he had stole the car that he was doing donuts in. Oh. So. Failed. <laughs> yeah, they have so much coolness. They really need people on the street coordinating everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. And in uh, other. That's what's needed. Car news, this chick in L.A. reached into a lady's car in a grocery store parking lot and tried to steal her purse, but the other woman wouldn't let go. So she yanked the woman and the purse out of the car. Then she jumped in and tried to steal the car instead. Uh Uh-huh. Didn't get very far. The the video's wild because the car had a club on it. Ah. The steering wheel was locked. You guys remember the club, right? Yeah. Yeah. People make fun of me, but look at this. Yeah. Yeah. For you youngins out there, it's an anti-theft device. It locks on the steering wheel, so... you know, you can only go about a quarter of a turn, the steering wheel. Mm. Didn't stop this crazy bitch, though. She tried to drive off anyway, turned the parking lot into a, like a full-blown demolition derby because she kept backing up and going forward, hitting more cars each time. Well, that'll work. Five cars were damaged before she jumped out and tried to run, but two guys tackled her. Jeez. Good. Held her down until the cops got there. Wow. Uh, somebody also tied her shoelaces together just in case. Just in case. <laughs> the uh, cops arrived and took her stupid ass to fail jail. Failed. Like, what is this lady doing? I see. When I first saw the video, I didn't realize. I knew she was like carjacking somebody, uh, but I didn't realize that the club was on the car. I'm like, <laughs> why is she hitting all yeah, these cars? Yeah, yeah. There's a uh, phone scam in Washington State where someone is pretending to be from the Pierce County Sheriff's Office, and they're calling people saying that they are Sergeant Darren Moss and that uh, right. he has an urgent legal matter to discuss. He's uh, trying to get money from them, saying they have fines that are unpaid, but they can settle up with cash or gift cards. Gift cards. Oh. Wait, I like that. And guess who the fake Sergeant Darren Moss ended up calling? Uh, the real sergeant. The real Sergeant Nailed Darren it. Moss from oh, the Pierce no. County Sheriff's Wait. Office. Oh, no. Failed. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't you read the name? Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> and uh, finally, my favorite story of the week. It's another one of these. Let's just say you're feeling all sexy and... Always. You oh, want to yeah. get frisky. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Frisky. You could do what this 47-year-old man did. He inserted a water glass into his butthole. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Yep. He got uh, drunk, decided just to shove a glass up his ass. Okay. And he initially tried to say that it was an accident, as uh, people do, mm-hmm. but then uh, he admitted that uh, he was drunk. He did it on purpose. The glass ended up all the way in there to the point where he couldn't poop, and it was almost impossible to fart. He tried to get it out himself. No luck. Three days later, the pain got to be too much. He goes to the hospital. Doctors tried to remove it using a technique called milking, trying to like yeah. move it back oh, down sexy. through the intestines. The report says, quote, <laughs> called milking, milking was attempted to deliver the glass through the anus, uh-huh. but this was unsuccessful as the glass was <laughs> high up, inverted, and tightly wedged. Ooh. So, yeah, so, now, so now he needed actual surgery. To cut him open and get it out. Oh, he remained oh. in the hospital for seven days recovering from the incident. That's wow. so no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> no. I, And they say that that's, you know, when, when people get stuff in them and lost in them or whatever, I, they wait a long time. Days, yeah, weeks, sometimes long. months, because of just the embarrassment of, of going in there saying, I put a glass in my ass. He couldn't find a building to jump off of? <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Well, then the glass would break. Yeah. And then you have, <laughs> then you have a, a really big... There's just like no way I'm going in. Uh, no. Uh, quick break. We're going to put the DUIQ and come back. If you want to play, give us a call, 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. And uh, we'll do that next. Give you a chance to win something. DUIQ right after the break. Hang on. Ooh, ooh.